morning and welcome to the shack shack safe happy and creative stay home and craft my name is barbara gray from clarity stamp in england here and uh and i'm here to keep you company for an hour bit of doodling bit of banter is anybody there paul could you just let me know that the sound is okay and then we'll get started a bit early to the party but that's not a bad thing is it there we go right so freezing here in the southeast of England. What about where you are? And how are you? Hmm? How are you? Good morning, Karen Smith, dear friend. Nice to have your company. Yeah, well, sound is nice and clear. That's good. I just wonder, let me just check something, because sometimes if I get excited, let me just check the volume on the microphone and let me just see because if it's too loud then sometimes it clips i think i've turned it down a little bit so it's not clipping so much that should be better good morning everybody come on in yeah it's freezing here absolutely brass monkeys bright sunny day just like we like it how about where you are you rock Oh, it's wearing, isn't it? Don't know what's wrong with me at the moment. It can't just be me. But it'll be all right. This too shall pass, one day at a time. Hmm? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know, it's the mojo. I'm on, we're on the mojo bus here, aren't we? Let's call it the mojo bus, the shack shack bus. And what we're, what we're, the aim of the game is to hang out together park all our troubles and our worries and our fears just for an hour, get out of our heads, do a little bit of doodling, mm -hmm. little pint size, simple patterns and doodles and squiggles. Good morning, S Australia. Golly, Elizabeth, what must be the time in Australia? You're way beyond. It must be in the evening where you are. Is that right? Let us know. That's interesting. No sound on the TV. Mm, don't know why that is. Paul, sound okay here? Everybody would be barking at me if the sound were no good. And does Barbara keep freezing? Am I keep? Do I keep freezing? I am freezing. This is true. But I think we're all right. I think you may want to just switch it off and switch it back on again. That often works for me. Right. Now, let's see. Nora, everybody's in the building. Good to have your company. Um, yeah. So at the beginning of the year, I kind of figured out that many of us were struggling a little bit with our mojo. It wasn't just you. It was me too. And so I did a week of blogs, didn't I? How to rekindle our creative appetite. I suppose that's what it is. If you've lost your mojo, it's you've lost your... For me, I, I don't know where to start. It's not that I'm not good. It's not that. It's the getting started or the feeling motivated to get started. Is that right? Is that what this is? Um, <coughs> so I just thought, right, once a week on a Thursday, when we usually we hang out together on a Thursday at 10 o'clock, I was feeling that the time between Thursdays was just too long. I wasn't feeling the benefits of it. There you go. So I thought, right, well, if I'm not feeling the benefits of it, then my friends aren't either. So I thought, right, we'll double it up. Let's do Mondays and Thursdays. Yeah. So now it's Monday, which is a great start to the week. Um, it's it's just means that that we can hang out together for an hour, do a bit of doodling. And then we've only got a couple of days before we meet again. So I think that mm, probably I would say it will be better. Yeah. Keeps freezing. Somebody's, I don't know, people are complaining that it keeps freezing. Um, I don't know why that would be. It's freezing. It could just be Facebook. Pop over to YouTube and see if it's better on YouTube. Um, there's nothing wrong. I don't know. Got 165 people in the room and maybe half a dozen freezers. <laughs> Paul, maybe you could just take over for five minutes while I crack on. Yeah, so I thought we'd meet twice a week. And that way you get two bites of the cherry as well. If you're busy on Monday, 
then you can hang out possibly the next day. And so it goes on. Right, so let's have a cup of tea and let's get started. I am, um, last week we were doing some, <laughs> some little tiny bite-sized stamp board doodles. You don't need to, you don't need to use stamp board. You can use a uh, paper, a pen, a biro, a pencil. You don't have to have all the gear to join in. That's the mo most important thing to know. If you want to join in, do you remember last year uh, we had to go, we were doing some, yeah, just some, some cool doodles. I, I find things like this somewhere on the internet and then I put my own spin on it and, and then, and then we do it together. This one's nice. It looks like there's a, there's a hole. <laughs> and then, um, and then last week we were doing these ones. Do you remember? These are good. Uh, I had to laugh though. If you look at that one, doesn't it look like a load of teeth. <laughs> it's supposed to be pearls. Look. <laughs> Suddenly I thought, because I, I know why it is. I know why that happened. It's because the little tiny um, little road map along here, see here, it's tiny, isn't it? But all of a sudden on this one, it just looks like a load of gnashes. <laughs> I thought it was funny. I think I saw Greg, Greg Lashmar. Morning, Greg, if you're there. He posted his and he said, I'm not sure about this. And when I looked at his, I thought, oh, you've got teeth as well. <laughs> oh, well. Right now, does it matter? And that's the whole point of this. You know, it's, I mean, it's nice if you get something nice out of it. Of course it is. And that's, I, I think that's what rekindles our mojo when we see a measure of success. But the main object of this exercise, it's like mental yoga. You know, the, the main objective here is to just get out of our heads and get with our hands and relax. So I did kind of point to another little one. Let's have a look. I need a bit of, it's quite nice. I'm going to use a square again. Here we go. I'm just going to use a little square uh, mount board, stamp board. It's nice. It's nice. It's lovely stuff. You know, we've got it in different sizes, different shapes. You know, you don't always have to do the, but I like the bunting as well, the triangle you see. So you could do these different patterns on the different shapes and there's different, comes in different sizes as well. See, we're sticking sm to small because we're trying to reignite our mojo. And for me, if I was going to reignite my mojo, I'd want little small bite-sized pieces. Yesterday I went to pottery and I thought everyone else is doing a teapot and I thought, I've got it. I don't think I've got a teapot in me this week. So I decided to do a butter dish. Oh, Kel her. -er. What a <laughs> what a bad idea that one. The butter dish is far more difficult than the teapot. Never mind. Next week's another week. It'll be all right. I'll show you my butter dish when it's done. Good, bad, or indifferent. I'll show you what I've managed. Because for me. I've got loads of butter dishes. It's not about the butter dish. It's about the learning process, how to make a butter dish. I want to know. But when you actually study a butter dish, they're not as easy as you think. <laughs> My butter dish might be one of those real minimalistic ones with just a flat slab. Just a flat slab. <laughs> they're the ones you get in the posh restaurants, aren't they? Right, moving on. So let's have a look. We'll get rid of these, get rid of these, get rid of these. Get your glasses on. Are you ready? And then we shall have a look at this little fella. Fancy that? Because I tell you what, it looks so nice. Let me show you. This doesn't look like much at all. But when you mount it onto the larger piece of stamp board, it looks really, really nice. Let's come in a bit closer. Look. Doesn't that look lovely? I think so. So the idea is, stare at it long enough. Now pretend it's an aerial view and you're looking down. And this is New York. Let's call this New York, New York, right? And what we've got here, we've got parks. There's a park, there's a park, and there's a park. And you're looking right down from, from, a, from, a from an airplane. And, and 
these are the high lines and then it drops down. Isn't that cool? And you could walk along the high lines here. Cool, it's a little bit of a, there is a fence, don't worry. <laughs> but the idea is that the shadow here and here creates the illusion of depth. That was, that was the idea. I didn't go mad on the shadow because I wanted to make sure that you could see what we were doing first before before we go to that extreme. Let me see if I show you over on this one whether you can see it better. See if I hold it like that. Can you see the three dimensional if I hold it at a bit of an angle? Can you see how it's supposed to be dipping down into the depths? But really... It's just loads of little doodles. It's actually very simple. And there's just a very straightforward sequence. So do you fancy that? Should we have a go? Let's see. What do we need for this one? Well, we need a, need a piece of paper or a, a block. You do need a pencil for this one. So get your pencil out. Um, only because some of them have... If you go straight in with a pen, like we did with the other one... Um, no, let's do the pencil and then we could put the shapes in along the line and rub them out. So, right, so if we want to rub it out, we need an eraser. So, we've got let's just get our bits together because we're going to do this today and on Thursday as well. So, we've got a pencil, we've got an eraser, then we've got the micron pens. There we go. Number what have I got here? Number five and the 005. That's these little fellas. If you haven't got that, get a biro, right? And then and then, oh, well, I'll tell you what I'm going to use for colour. Have you got these? These are cool. Perga colours. Any felt tip pens will do or pencils. The reason I like these, apart from the fact that we sell them and that we own the company, um, they are really cool. Let me show you. Is this the one I'm going to use? I want to use the lighter red, 29. Number seven, there it is. Right. If you look at the nib... Let me get a piece of paper to show you. This is just so you understand. So you've got the bullet point like so. Uh huh. But then you've also got the really fine point like so. And what I like about Perga colors, unlike a lot of water-based felt tip pens, this one's got like a, like a plastic sheath around it so the little fine edge stays this tiny super fine line stays true for a long time so that's cool right so that's why I, I think they're great because they've got two ends a double ended and and when you want to get into really tight areas like this the the tight end is like having a micron pen it's like having a number one micron pen but in 30 different colors result Right, so we want to use those as well for the next couple of days or anything else. That's fine. If you're going to use pencils, use pencils. You might need a sharpener. We've got them now. They're quite good. Um, ooh, that's about it, really. Oh, and then, of course, when it comes to the shading, you can either use your HB pencil or your polychromos, your lovely grey selection, which I tend to do a lot. Okay? So that's that, 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 and that. But today, we will stick to the outline first. So we need an HB pencil. HB is good. You ready to have a go with me? Am I diving in a bit fast? This chair keeps going down. <laughs> be all right in a minute, then. I'll be closer to the artwork. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Clean, open. Right, there we go. It's quite good. Graphite, that'll do. Right, okay. So I'm going to get a good sharp pencil going. And the first thing we're going to do is make the, the, the lines that I show you. Right, you ready? And now I've got to give you a chance to get your bits and pieces, haven't I? Hey, I didn't sleep last night at all. I look like yesterday's lunch, which was nachos. <laughs> <laughs> roast chicken i don't think so <laughs> you can't do you can't do pottery and cook a roast dinner they just don't work <laughs> so it was like mini mini money mo pottery at one <laughs> yeah 
So what, I don't know why I was telling you that. Something. Oh, I look like yesterday's dinner. Yeah, nachos. Look rough. Rough. Right, you ready? Doesn't matter really, though. I'm well. I'm well. I'm healthy. Hands up. Who's had COVID? Come on. Yeah, I have. All over Christmas. And the family. We had a right go. That's why I didn't say anything at the time because it it was a family thing and it wasn't really, it wasn't a good family thing. But the good news is, and you don't know where it's going to go, do you? So you don't want to be the harbinger of doom and gloom. So I wasn't. Um, but yeah, we most of us copped it. Thank goodness my parents didn't. Okay. My parents were safe. Dave tested negative and the rest of us went down like a sack of potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> so that was Christmas sorted. We managed to have a Christmas turkey and then that was it. We all started testing positive. It ran through the family like a dose of salts. Have you had it too? My theory is because we've been vaccinated and boosted and jabbed and what have you, you do have a good measure of, um, of protection, you know. And, and so we didn't really... Grace got it. She was worst. Um, I I just felt like I had a bad cough, but I didn't lose my, ta my taste or my sense of smell, none of that. So it was obviously the Omicron variant. So it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. I got away with it, you know. My mum and dad didn't even know that we had it. Um, so, yeah, my brother got it. We all came down with it. But my theory is if you if you've got it, then maybe you build up your own antibodies if you've had it, you know, build up your own protection a little bit. <sighs> Who knows? Hey, Pat Coombs' husband said, I'm looking lovely to say, well, Pat Coombs' husband, thank you very much. You've made my day. <laughs> that makes me feel better. There's nothing worse than being with someone that keeps saying, cool, you don't have to look tired, don't you? Don't you look worn out? You do look, you look, you look really awful. <laughs> So thank you, Pat Coombs' husband. Right, come on, stop larking about, Gray. Let's do some doodling. Get on that mojo bus, the number 240. Can you believe that we've been doodling together for 240 hours? That's, that's good, isn't it? Right, so what we're going to do, first of all, we're going to make the three areas. So they look like flowers, if you like, as well. See? Just... You could think of flowers. Just need two lines, don't you? So we're going to start up here and we'll go and we'll make decide where you want to go. I'm going to go from there and then I'm going to come down to about there. That will do. And then I'm just going to go like that. That will do. Everyone's original. All right. And then this one. That, so this is the center flower, if you like. And then this one, I'm going to go for, to here to there. But I'm going to bubble out a bit. So I'm going to come out like that. This is a bit different. Right, that'll do. So that's that one. That's that one. And that's that one. Yeah? That'll do. Do another one if you don't like that one. Just get another bit of board. Right? You might not You might not fancy that line. Just go a bit further. Don't press too hard, though, because you've got to rub it out in a minute. Grey. Ah, wrong. Well, it doesn't matter really, does it? Let's just make a bit more of a, an effort here, Barbara. Come on. So you can make it like that, a bit more, bit more bendy. Whatever you fancy, everyone's going to be different. And then along this line here, which I've done quite harshly, quite hard, what we're going to do is make boxes. So let's make some boxes along here. These are, the, these are these boxes, and we can build them up a bit like that. That's okay. Right, boxes underneath, a couple of gaps. So these are like, that's it. Just make some boxes along the edge. This is like a high line or a skyline, if you like, like a path. Have you ever been... In, in New York, there's a, um, is it called the High Line? It's really cool. It's a, 
It's a walkway. I haven't, see, we haven't been there for a couple of years. Gracie lives there. Because we haven't been there for a couple of years, you forget, don't you? Uh, I'm sure it's called the High Line, something like that. Skyline, High Line. And it's um, it's a walk, and it's it it comes out in the Meat District. I know that, but it's a really long walk, and and you're above the city. I think I've blogged about it as well, but uh, interestingly, so think of this as like the High Line, and you can walk along it. And what we could do is actually let's double up on the line where we haven't put so that it. Doesn't look like a tightrope. There we go. Let's make a bit more of a. That's better. Hey? That would be nice to colour in as well. There we are. That looks better. So that is going to be this bit here. And then we need three centres, epicentres, if you like. So I'm going to put my, my epicentre there. Do it lightly so that you don't have too much trouble rubbing out. Then I think I'll put my other epicenter there. And I think I'll put my other one there. Have you got the epicenters now? Everything all right? The high line. It's fabulous. I wonder which, I know I wrote about it, because it's a really, it's a really arty walk. And you're up above, it's in Manhattan. And you, you get on it and then you go up and you it's there are lots of kind of gardens and art pieces and it's a real cultural walk, but you're you're up off the streets. So and there are some beautiful murals, like amazing artwork. And it's like a work in progress, it's like a living gallery, really. It's cool. A lot of people involved in this. It's an art project, I guess. Um so think of this as the high line and then and then down in the depths is all the all the traffic and the beep, 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 beep. the city that never sleeps. So what we'll do around our centerpieces, around our epicenters, let's call them that, we'll make circles, just like rings, okay? Let's make some rings. And we'll do the same around this one. Let's make some rings. And this one. What I did... That'll do. Right. With this one, when I shaded it all in, after I shaded it in, let's go... I went back in with a white Posca pen and because the, the white little dots that I'm just doing with you now, they'd gone quite grey because of the shading. So I just went in with a white paint pen and highlighted the white dots again just to bring them out. Otherwise, they were, you couldn't see those little white dots. Redundant. Right, these Posca pens are pretty cool for that stuff because they're white paint pens. They're quite, um, they're very opaque. So when you use them, you know when you're doing a sky and you want stars, the, this, is your, this is your friend. This one, it's good. Anyway, so we've done that, we've done that. And then once we've done this, then the next thing is we want to get the, I think probably the best thing to do is to get the um, the lines in first, get the three divisions in, and then we can start spreading out. So why don't we do this? Why don't we split it up? And instead of doing all the pencil work first, let's do, let's get your... Um, have you got these? I'm going to start with the number one, I think. Number one. Let's do these lines first. And then what we'll do is we'll make the boxes. Right, let's make the boxes because we want to we want these not to have a line through them. Okay. So let's do these boxes first. Right. I think the thing about these simple doodles, that one looks a bit rubbish. If you don't like it, you can change it now, can't you? That's better. I'm going to do three. There you go. Right. Let me keep going. You can always change it before you pen it, you know? Look, I'm putting in a couple more boxes now. 
If you want another box, you can put one in there. That'd be cool. Right, and then we'll do this side. So these are our two, these are our two skylines. There we go. And straight away, when you start doing this, this is the this is the whole point of it, really. As soon as you start doing this, uh, for me, this is how it works for me. I I just relax. It it just slows me down because I've got to concentrate on what I'm doing and think about space and balance and what what I'm actually doing and which lines belong to what. Because I'm concentrating on it, I'm not thinking about anything else at all. So now I've done that, I'm going to come th not through the lines. Here we go, look. Now I'm going to do the little pathway that runs in between the blocks. And as soon as you, I don't know, my mind was racing earlier. There's a lot going on at the moment, a lot going on. This is a very, very busy time. And um, so couple that with not sleeping as well. Uh, this is just absolutely like therapy, really. I enjoy it immensely. And it looks quite nice when it's done, too. You can't judge it by what you're looking at now. Don't do that. Right, let's do these rings around circles like that. And then we'll just join them up. That's one. Let's just make those nice round little pearls. And you'll find it's building. It's a building game. Well, it is a building game. High rises, high lines, sky rises, all that stuff. But it actually looks quite good when it's done. That'll do. And the other thing is the rubbing out of the pencils. I would wait until this was completely dry before I did anything like that. Because... Um, when you, if you rub out now, it will, the black might smear. Pretty obvious, really, don't you think? So when we're looking at it now, what we want to do, you see, is, is, you, is put in loads of lines. But let's start, for example, with um, the red one. Let's start with the red one. And what we'll do is, let's pretend this is going to be the red one, all right? And we'll start, we're using just the number one, right? And we're going to start by the, dividing up the area. So let's, let's break it down into real easy pint-sized pieces for ourselves. See? And you've got to concentrate because you've got, you want to make straight lines. You don't really want to use a ruler. I don't think you need a ruler. I think we can get away with not using a ruler, don't you? But this is a good way of just breaking it down to start with, yeah? I'll tell you another thing that I saw the other day, and I thought, log it, log it, we're going to do this. Um, beautiful. It was a frosty morning, and in the garden there was a, a, a phenomenal cobweb, like just, uh, so I grabbed my phone and took a photo of it, and I thought, right, I'm going to, I've got to sit with that for a little while. But I think we could do some really lovely artwork with a, around a cobweb. You know, not a Halloween cobweb. I'm talking beautiful, arty cobweb. Right, let's have a look. So you can see, for example, there are gaps as well. They're not, they're not, it's not, a, it's not a cartwheel. Okay, so we're going to put some tight ones in and some. So let's have a look. Can you, can you get your tighter one? Can you get a thinner line now? Let's have a look. Let's see if we've got a thinner line. And what we're going to do now, this is quite there. So let's do a couple more. And yet let's tuck in like that. Just 
build. Do about three next to each other like that. That looks good. They'll be good for playing with in a minute. And you can you you can add and take you can't take away, that's rubbish. But you can add lines as you go. So this one goes to here and then it goes there. You just gotta make sure it goes all the way, right? So this one's gonna be that one there. Just keep going round and adding little lines. But leave some gaps because in a minute we're going to we're going to join them up and make little patterns and doodles and yeah can always add it. So I've done that one now. Let's go to this one and let's do the same thing again. Let's just split it up into four to start with. Actually, I'm going to use the fatter pen. That's a bit thin though. I can use the thin one when I go in to do the real fine detail. So this is the number one. There we go. And make the make the art come to you. Hey. This would be lovely. That's it. Let's do another one there. Do a couple of tight ones. Whoa, very tight. Have a look. I think I want to put another one there. And you just keep coming off that circle. I think one of the best things about this is that you, it's not over till it's over. You just got to keep going. And just make some lines that you can then put patterns into. My suggestion is that we don't do all of them straight away we come in and do a few more because we can add a couple of patterns we can decide when we when we go to make the infill bits look i'll show you see some of them are, are in between lines you get it right let's do the now we've got our eye in with the two smaller ones let's do the main one in the middle so let's have a go so we're going to go I'm going to go all the way up like that. From there, I'm going to go to there. And then I'm going to come to there. Yeah. Let's do it. So... New York, um, it's where Gracie lives. They're stuck in Ohio at the moment because of snow. <laughs> Unfortunately, they they obviously they couldn't go and see Mark's family, Gracie's guy, um, in Ohio over Christmas for obvious reasons. So. They went this weekend to to catch up with Christmas. I think a lot of people have had to do that, don't you? I, I, I get the feeling that quite a few people have had to play catch up with Christmas with family. And, uh, and so <laughs> they must be wondering what is going on. Now they've gone there and now they're stuck because all the flights have been cancelled trying to get back into Manhattan. Always something going on, isn't there? I'll leave that open for a minute. So the poor girl spent a week in bed here and now she's stuck in snow in the States. <laughs> yep. But if you've been to, to New York... It's a tall place. It's very tall. <laughs> it really is. And um, I love New York. I really love New York. In fact, Karen, um, who's in the room 
unless she's left again. You were in New York, weren't you, Karen, at Christmas? Well, just before Christmas, because you and you and Grace and um, your daughter, you went to, um, what did you go and see? Chicago. Was it Chicago? The, the, the musical? You went to see something fantastic anyway, didn't you? See, I'm thinking that this one here, right, let's do three lines like that. That would be nice. Okay, you see where we're headed here, can't you? So we've got some rough lines now. And now I'm going to go to a thinner one. And what we'll do first, let's do a thinner one. And the first thing we'll do is put, let's just go with the one, the easy one, the chevron. See the chevron? Like a black, white, black, white, black, white. Let's do a black black and white one. And now you may go, right, well, I'm going to put one in, but I'm going to add it. So I'm going to go, I'm going to put that in there like so. And then I'm going to go, I'm going to put my, my chevron in there. I think I'll put one in there. Right, let's colour it in then. Yeah, so Grace lives on, I think it's the 11th floor, which is... Nowhere near the top of the building. Nowhere near the top of the building. 11th floor. I know. That would be quite high up for me. Then I think I'm going to go, that one there is screaming to be. See, this takes a little time, this work, you know. And you're just going to use different doodles, different patterns, simple things. And it's the building up of the simple things that makes the whole in the end, makes the whole thing sing. But you, you have to decide which patterns you want to use, what doodles. I found something... Similar to this on the internet, and I thought, oh, I like, I really liked the idea. It wasn't, but what, but it was flat. It didn't have the depth to it, the skyline. And I thought, oh, that to me, it looks really three dimensional. It looks like you're looking down. So I thought, right, I'm going to pursue that. So I've got that one there and that one there. Should we do another? Where else can we put her? I think I want to put circles in. You know, like the like the pearls that we just did, the pearls. Do you remember when we put the pearls in and I said, stay as close to the edge as you can. Let's see, which would be a really good one for the pearls? I, I reckon I'm going to make another line really tight to that one there and possibly another line there like that. And then I'll put the pearls in there. I wonder if, because in a minute, we're going to colour this in as well. So if I make the pearls quite large, like that, this will look quite pretty. And then what I'll do now, so stop a minute, Grey. Hang on. The jury's out. I might want to colour that in red or make it black. I don't know yet. Jury's out. Leave it. When in doubt, uh, hang about. Right, so we're going to hang about on that one. How about on this one here? I quite like this here. I think I really like what I did there, which was all circles. See the circles? Look, let me hold it up tight. That is a bit fuzzy. Where am I going? <laughs> it's like burning the bolt. Do you remember that? Up or down, up, up a bit, down a bit. Sunday afternoons. This is, is that working or not? Too fuzzy, huh? Or is it my eyes? There. See the little, see it? Cool. That's what we're going to do. So what they are is, <laughs> they're circles within circles, like the Mexican. Circle within circle. Sombrero. See? From the top. Like that. 
So what we'll do is we'll take these, let's have a look, we'll take these lines here and then we'll make circles within the lines like that or outside or across two lines or through the lines. That looks quite good too. Okay, I'm going to put one there. So we're going to put bubbles, little ones, large, in between, and then little ones as fillers. That'll do. And then we're going to put, is this a, a no five? Yeah, thin. Just don't press so hard and it'll go even thinner. There you go. So these are like the sombreros, look. Or polos. Be nice to colour these in. And that's the point I'm making, is none of this looks like anything until it's all nicely coloured in. Honest. Because what we'll do is we'll colour in the back the back part, the, the lines in the background, not the rings. Okay. I really like that design, actually. I might do another one there, like so. In fact, I like it so much, I think I might have another go at one of those sections somewhere else. How about, how about over here? This might be a good, let's have a little bit of balance. That's quite a lot there, isn't it? That one's a different thing. How about over here? Let's do another line like that. Okay. And then we could do some of these. Yeah. So this is going to be the, the purple one, I think, or the red one. I don't know. Choices, choices. Hey. Yes, there's a lot going on at the moment. And... Um, and this week on TV, we've got a full-on week. So I've written it down, actually, because it's more, a lot more than usual, for good reason. And um, you may or may not be aware that, that the little, the little um, craft store TV channel that we work with has acquired the big creating craft one, which is quite something. Uh, it's a bit of a David and Goliath situation. Um, so it'll be fine, though. It's going to be fine. It'll be okay. Um, just a lot of upheaval, really. This is going to look nice, this one. A lot of upheaval, a lot of planning, a lot of shuffling around. and. Um, yeah, that's quite nice. Yeah, so what I've done is I actually wrote the, look, let me write, I wrote it down for you so that you know what we're up to. That's another good reason to have a Monday, uh, a Monday get together. So Monday it's us, Tuesday it's groovy at 10 o'clock with Paul and Linda, Thursday it's us again, that, that says us. <laughs> okay, now TV land. This is like the craft store now, where we always are. Wednesday and Thursday is the craft store. So Paul's doing a five o'clock show in the evening and a nine o'clock. We're doing, we're filling in for, you know, there's a lot of filling in going on at the moment, you know, for lots of different reasons, lots of reasons, COVID, uh, illness, having to quarantine, you know, that's why everything's gone mad. Um, and so we're just helping where we can. That's all we're trying to do is just help where we can. So Paul is going to be filling uh, a five o'clock and a nine o'clock with Groovy. And then, then on the Thursday, he's there anyway, he'll stay overnight. So he's going to do 11 in the morning and three in the afternoon. That's Pergamano show. There's some fabulous new plates. I know that. Then on Friday, I'm going to Create and Craft. So I'm going back over where I used to be, where I started many years ago. I'm going back into that building 
because the two are one now. The two are one. So I'm going back over there. At 1.30, I've got a groovy show. And then at 6.45 in the evening, I've got a stamp show. Really going back to basics, demo heavy, very um, what I'm known for. I thought I'd take it right back, take it right back. So, so that's what I'm doing. And that's over on Create and Craft, but it's me. There you go. And that's it, really. It's that, it's that straightforward. But I thought there's a lot to prepare here. And I thought, wow, I need a bit of support. I hope that you join me. It will be fun. It will be good. And it is what it is. So let's have a look. Back to this. And we've got our, let me make sure I've got my right, my right 005. Okay. So let's see another nice one because you can do lots of different patterns. Another nice one is the one where you go like you make like an arch like that in between two lines. So this one would be quite nice for that. Let's just show you first. And then you go slowly does it and you're making an arch. And then as you get closer down to the bottom, it gets tighter. See, and that's what gives it the, the sense of depth is that it's quite large at the top and then it gets tighter as it goes to the bottom. Let's do another one of those then. We could do another one of those. Or uh, what about here? Let's make uh, another line like that. And then we can go and make some arches again. And then they get tighter and tighter. You see, I think that these would look really nice in series. So, for example, if you did, oh, you could put three in a in a in a in in a, in a mat, you know, like in a triple mat, or you could put three little ones like this. I mean, I think they look smashing. You know, in the bathroom or in on the landing. And, and what I've done is on the edges, you'll see, right, see where, if it's the purple bit here, I've gone round the edge of the, the mount board or the stamp board with the purple. And where it's green, I've gone green and I've gone red. Do you see that? So it looks quite nice from an angle as well. So that's quite cool. Okay. And you could do different ones with different colours, but I think they make a really nice set. So quite, quite a, aside from the the Zen benefits of this, we could actually be making some really nice artwork or little presents, couldn't we? I'll tell you what, this is going to be a good one. Let's come down, let's come down here now. I think we'll come down on this one here. But what I'm going to do, we're going to make, see these? Going to make the dots first and then, and then, so we come down like that, dots. So we're making the open circles with gaps in between, coming down. Don't have to go all the way down. When it starts to get a bit tight, let it go. That'll do. Maybe for one more. Right, and then we'll join them up like that. So that's quite good too. Okay. You just keep bringing it in. So the thing about this kind of artwork, let's make tracks now. The thing about this kind of artwork, it requires focus. It does. You've got to think about this. This isn't, this requires a little bit of thinking. And that's why it's good for you. Because it, This is nice. There you go. It's like train tracks, that one. wonder how tight we can go. That'll do. See? Starting to build up now. Let's do something over this side then. How about... See, I've got loads of different ones, so I know. Um, this one here, let's do this one here. This is quite good. We've got three of these. So on that one, we're going to make like little flags. So we're going to join them up. So I'll put a flag there like that, and then maybe put a flag between, put another one across there. Maybe I could put another one out there. 
then we'll put one right across the whole thing there you go so you're building now they're going to get smaller though because we're getting down into the lower floors tiny there that looks quite good that one would be nice for coloring in see how it starts to build up how about let's have a look i i'm lucky because i've already done it once so it's easy for me how about okay this one here do a third do a third line next to it like that like that and this one will do if you've got if you've got three lines like that we'll go like this like chevrons up down up down up down like that chevrons where was my three where are my three lines gone that'll do these three will do right so you go up down This would be nice. Getting tighter. That'll do. I need to do something on that side. I'm neglecting. How about, uh, I think we need some, we're going to do a black and white one or a black and red one, like that. That's easy. A bit too much of the same going on in this side. So I'm going to make some really thin lines like that. And I think I might do some some bubbles. Let's do some, because I haven't got any circles here. So I think I might do some bubble. Oh, i tell you what we could do. This is quite nice. Okay, you ready? Swirls. So you do swirls like that. Do swirls. They're nice to fill. Just go the other way. So swirls are good. Can you see this all right? Can you see it all right? Ah. Stretch your neck. Stretch your neck. God, I can't believe it's 10 to 11 already. Right, stretch, stretch. Does it get to you? It's all right. Stretch that way. Stretch that way. Can you hear it? Click, 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 click good for you though right and the other thing to do i think with this is every now and again just stop put your pen down because you do cramp up a bit with this don't you put your pen down and look at what you've done and have a have a little bit of scribble paper and decide on different patterns don't do any coloring we'll do the coloring on thursday We can do the colouring together on Thursday, can't we? That would be lovely. Did you know also, I wanted to flag something else up, because, of course, now we're meeting twice a week. We can be more active, if you like, you know. And, uh, and next Sunday on the 23rd, it's actually National Handwriting Day. Oh, yeah. It is. And I was thinking... Because we do do we do do a lot with with handwriting and script and you know I thought it would be really nice if we um, we had a few sessions on handwriting. Then I was practicing with this. This actually I was thinking about last year. And then I said to Paul, the thing is that these pens are not really ideal for handwriting because they're this they're they're brilliant for doodling but for handwriting they don't change their depth you know that you know what i mean they don't they're not calligraphy pens so i found us a calligraphy pen um which i i tried all the different ones and i decided i mean don't get me wrong i've got calligraphy sets i have got i've got piles of calligraphy sets you know like with the pens and the quills and the i've tried for years, I'm not bad. I I wouldn't give up my day job, but that's not. It's not about a big calligraphy set. It's about getting a pen, a brush pen. This this is a good one. Maybe you've already got some, but I thought if you haven't, you might enjoy this one. Let me show you, because I was thinking, if it's National Handwriting Day on the 23rd, then maybe we could have a little bit of fun. These are pretty good, these pens, you know. 
So this one's it's uniball. And if I if I show you how it works, because it's not a nib, that's the whole point. It's a brush pen. That's what it is. But it let me just get it started and I'll show you. If you I've just got to get my eye in and you'll see. See how it swirls? Look. And you can you can alter how hard you press, right? So you can make it really, really fine. Like what? I can go really fine, but then I can get heavier as I go down. And then I can go fine again. You see? It's very nice to do. So I could come up here and then maybe I want to do it a little bit more heavy there, heavier, and then and then trail away. You see? So, for example, now I can come across and then trail away. So it's very, very nice to do. And you can, you've got a lot of control. So you press a bit hard and then up you go. It does require a bit of practice. But it's not, it's not insurmountable. And what I find is it's a lot easier, for example, with a, with a brush pen like this, there you go. I love it when I get the old, the wriggle going. There, look. Shack. And what's nice as well is that you can, you can um, use the pen. You'll find, if you're like me, you're, you've got more control over a pen like this than you have over a brush. And, well, we get practice in, though. When we get practice in, it'll be different. So what you can do is you can use these pens to... Um, while you're getting to grips with a proper brush pen, this is an extra fine one as well, which is great. While you're getting to grips and getting the control of this, you can use these pens to uh, correct your work or add elements. Or if you miss a bit, you can go in and you can use this pen. Do you see what I mean? If you miss a bit and you want to add it, you can use this pen. Or let's say along here now, um, we could write with this pen. You see, we could probably eventually look safe, happy. Do you see what I mean? So you can, with these pens, you can go so tiny. Mind you, I bet you could with the, what does it, what do we stand for? Safe, happy and creative. There you go. That's us, isn't it? See how tiny you can go with these ones. And then these these pens here, though they they have a they're different. You watch. They've got a different. And you can. You can draw with them as well. So, so they just have a lovely flow. Let me see if I can get a bit of a flourish going. There. You see, it's just pretty. So anyway, I tried out several different ones. Paul and I, we, we got some samples sent to us. We bought some samples from different places. And this was the one that I liked the best. And it just, um, yeah, I, I had a, look, I'll just show you different, just different how to do the trees, how to do the, you know, when you do like, um, I know I'm digressing here, but this is really cool. So say you want to do some trees. These are those ones that you can just, you know, that sort of tree thing. And you can hold the pen upright like this. There you go. And you can get some really nice, and you can also get some lovely um, grasses and trees and landscapes. And they're just different to these ones because they're so soft. Look, I was, you, you remember our little carrot men? <laughs> I really enjoyed those. When we went to Holland, do you remember when, when we were on the bus and we went to Holland and we did, um, we did those, the carrot men? with the feet and the arms and the I really enjoyed those. Cool, those were those were really good trips, weren't they? 
but you see how you can get really arty just with these with this brush pen i think you'll find it's a good investment i i'm it's very addictive anyway i just wanted to show you how they work have a play and maybe your national next week we'll do some calligraphy because if you don't you know you say oh i've tried that it's rubbish i'm no good at it perhaps if we work on it together and we 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 dedicate some time to it you know it's like going on a potter's wheel chances are it will be a holy mess the first time you do it and then you go the second time and you get a handle on it and it, and you just um you you develop that skill, don't you? And I think it's the same with everything. Look at our doodling now. What, where are we? We're, we're nearly two, how many years? This is two years nearly we've been doodling together. And you've got us. I, I know for myself, my drawing skills are far far better than they were two years ago because in the beginning we were going every single day we were doodling, and it builds your confidence. And the more you do, the better you get, like Elizabeth says, and the better you get, the more you want to do, you know. And I would argue that's the same with most things, if not everything. And and I would say that this um, brush pen is just something that we could master to enhance our script work. That's my plan. I think I'm going to do that. So I can do, I can use these. I want to learn how to use brush pens. There you go. I only need one. I don't need I don't need thousands. I just need one black one. And also this is a waterproof one, which is useful. Fade resistant pigment ink. The fine brush tip gives you a variety of line options. Oh yes, it does. So that'd be lovely. I look forward to that. Right, so let's just finish this job now. I think Paul, perhaps you could just flag up where those pens are available if anybody wants to join in with that i think it's a skill that's what i think and we're just going to have to work on it right so we've got our we've got our lines we've got circles we've got tram tracks we've got bubbles see we want to get some balance going so you're going to look at the balance and decide what else do we want to add let's have a look so it's best to, let's deal with this piece in its entirety now. We've got a bit of balance going. So I would say I would like to put in this area here, I think I'd like to put, uh, I'd like to put one of these. So I'm going to come down like that. I like these ones where you then add the line in afterwards like that that's a good one and i think here i'm going to add actually a lot it's okay to have white gaps as well don't don't think that you've got to completely fill it look there's quite a lot of whiteness here yeah quite a lot of whiteness isn't there i think i'm going to do some bubbles here i fancy bubbles Bubbles through the line, on the side of the line, bigger as they come to the top. Hmm? Tiny bubbles. That'd be nice for colouring in. There you go. And so on, and so on, and so on. So I tell you what, I think would be really cool is if you could get this to pend. Yeah? So if you could do that, and even if you haven't done it yet, it's a piece of cake. Look, all you've got to do is split a piece of card or a box. How big is this? It's got to be about two and a half inches by two and a half inches. That'll be about right. And then and then what you do is you you find three epicenters like that, and then you build your lines off all the all the epi, all the center pieces like that, and then you make patterns. Um, and you like a wheel and you do different patterns and doodles, right? 
And then you can decide if you want to do it all in pencil first and then do it all in pen afterwards, let the ink dry and then and then um, and then get rid of the pencil work. But what you're looking for is something like this. And then the color we'll add on Thursday together. The color and the shade is Thursday. So finish this up. How about that? And just remember, there are no experts here. We're just here to keep you company. We're here to keep each other company in the shack. There are no experts. There is, this is not a competition. It's completely your work. This is the only way. If you've lost your mojo, this is the perfect way to find it. This is the mojo bus. All right. And if you fancy learning or honing your script skills and your calligraphy or your just just using a brush pen, how to use a brush pen. That's a good one. Uh, other than that, do do me a favor and uh, check out tomorrow. If you're into your groovy, check out Paul and Linda at 10 o'clock because they'll be they'll be doing some lovely work tomorrow together. Well, Linda's going to be um, going to be teaching you there. And that's it really at Clarity. We're just here to keep you company and to, to be creative and stay safe. OK, so thank you for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed it. Is Sam Crow in the building? Hey, Sam. Great to have your, your, your company too. I'll give you a ring later. Anyway, stay safe. Lots of love. Thanks for your help, Paul. And, uh, and I shall see you on Thursday at 10 o'clock. Um, Let's doodle together. Let's make something. Bye-bye now. Bye now.